Welcome back one and all, it's me Altamar and we are going to be beginning a let's play of the White March Part 2. Just came out tonight, just finished patching up, and now we are good to go on it. So I'm just going to grab a continue here, and we'll see where we head off, where we left off last time. I believe we had just finished up in the keep, and it's been a while so I don't actually remember too much of what happened at the end of it, but I'm sure we'll be caught up pretty quickly here. It's been a little while since I did the White March Part 1. Where did my water go? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So while we wait for this to load, I'm going to gather up my water. Alright, now I appear to be in good shape. If it would ever load, that would be good too. It also could have crashed, I suppose. Hello? Game? I'm going to give it like five more seconds and just assume it crashed. Oh, there we go. Rest in any location outside of the White March to begin the next chapter of the story. All yes, right. Wish. So, all right, we got new skills and stuff yes. too. I wonder if we can take a look at them. Um, I don't even know what they'd be under. I think we have to select them, but let's take a look at our spills. Did any of them change? Speaker of the rest, those are the, uh, that's our innate ability. Second wind, flames of devotion, sacred immolation. Those all look pretty much the hey. same. This looks very much the I'm same. <clears throat> what? Oh, I see. There's people have level ups. Okay. Well, let's start with uh, our good friend, our priest here. So he's got a new spell mastery. Free use of that spell once per encounter. They do not need to be in the grimoire in order to gain the free use. Oh, okay, cool. Um, what do I want it to be, though? Blessing, maybe? Blessing's pretty decent. Divine Terror. Frighten's not bad. Halt is pretty good to withdraw. No. I think I'm going to go with uh, Blessing, actually, as my free spell. And I have another spell, level 2 one. Let's go with Consecrated Ground, probably. It's, it's quite good. Um, Divine Mark. Not bad, too. Holy Powers. Okay, but not great. Prayer Against Infirmary. Or Infirmity. Immunity to Sickened and Weakened. Well, that's not bad, too. Repulsing Seal. Knocks things prone. Suppress Affliction. Hmm. I think I'm going to take... Divine Mark. Okay. Oh, he's got more stuff to do, still. Oh, I see. We have tons of... Okay, so we have lots of Spell Masteries. We should do all these. Circle of Protection is always good. Um, Pillar of Faith is fun. Warding Seal is not the greatest. Dire Blessing? No, let's not do that. Despondent Blows. That's not bad. We'll take Despondent Blows. And now is he done? Uh, no. Okay, I know Aloth needs to level up yet again. So he has spell mastery as well. Um, what do I want though? Chill Fog's pretty decent, or Dazzling Lights. Elder Jam, Fat of Flames, no. Ghost Blades. I mean. Maybe, but not quite. Slicken. We'll take Slicken. Prone is pretty, really good, actually. Hopefully it'll work out well for us. Next will be... Binding Web is always good. Um, what else can we go with? Dull-mindedness. Usually helps as well. Fitted Caress is paralyzed. 
But it's only against one creature. Oh, but then it also affects nearby things and does sickened. Let's be able to ring a spectacle. Confused. Okay, I'll take confusion. Confusion's pretty fun. Um, Fireball is always just straight up fun, even though it's not the best spell to use. I'll probably take delay of motion. That uh, that delay speed is pretty, actually, really, really good. Uh, no, done. Okay, is everyone done being leveled up now? Are we good? Yes. Everyone's all good. Yes. I don't even remember where we are at the moment. Let's go step outside. There was a Cypher ability I saw in the preview, and I kind of want to get Grieving Mother to be on my Cypher again because it was just so cool. It was the coolest spell I've seen. It makes a character into a Zealot from StarCraft II. They got like Psy Blades on their hands. It was so, so cool, and I really, really want one now, like really badly. There's a Barbarian that they added in this, so I'm probably going to be taking a Barbarian along. We'll probably get rid of one of our Paladins because we have three. And we are in... Oh, we're in Stalwart. Okay, we can rest here. Oh, wait, no. We had to be away from Stalwart. Away from any of the areas associated with the White March, apparently. So let's give ourselves a meander off to somewhere else. Oh, I need to change. I got a new monitor since uh, this came out, so... There's probably a reason this doesn't look as good as it should. You know what? I'm going to turn on colorblind mode, too, because I can't really see color all that well, so let's see how that goes. Yes, I do. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's fancy. I can see really, really well now. Maybe I should turn on V-Sync. No, I shouldn't turn on V-Sync. That's silly. Although I do want to check if there's anything else I want to put on. You know what? Why aren't the graphic quality as the best? That looks pretty good. Sorry. Now it looks considerably better. Oh, the color correction on colorblind mode looks horrible on the uh, recording program. Okay, we'll turn off colorblind mode. It's my color blindness isn't actually that bad. That looks a bit better. Okay, now we need to get out of here. Uh, there's a path down here. So we are most likely going to get rid of one of our paladins. Well, obviously just one of our pal our only paladin that we can get rid of, Palagina. Uh, and the reason is, I want to take a cypher. I really, really want to see... I really want to make someone into side blade mode. It's just so cool. Uh, we'll head to the Deerwood. And we'll just go to Cadnoa. It is, after all, our home to some extent. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I was super duper excited for this new expansion to come out. The first one was really well done. I kind of, I liked it quite a lot. I didn't use the new character. I kind of wish I did the rogue, the, uh, mechanical rogue thing. Maybe I should just make a whole new party. Maybe I should take everybody new. Speak to the messenger in my great hall at Cad Noir. Okay, I can probably do that. Let's go see what we can do. Um, what am I recording this at? Okay, 60 FPS, good. Hello, go inside. Maybe the rogue and a cypher. So if I was going to take a rogue and a cypher along, who would I have to give up? I would have to give up either... Well, I'd get rid of Palagina for sure. He bears a message from the Ducal Palace. Special Palace. Greetings, my lord. I bear an urgent message from Can Chancellor Warren of Defiance Bay. He requests that you meet with him at your earliest convenience in the Ducal Palace. Special Palace, actually. Your claim on Cad Noir has been called into question by the Gathbin family. Earl Badmar has issued a ruling on the matter, but both you and Lord Gathbin must be present. Cad Noir is mine. The Gathbin family disagrees. As your claim is not based on lineage, an official ruling is required to remedy this dispute. And who is Chancellor Warren? He is an arbiter of legal matters for, or matters for Earl Badmar of the Grasp. Tell me about Lord Gathbin. An old Adiran lineage, I believe. He looks around the Great Hall. The former lord of this stronghold. A distant relative of Lord Gathman allied himself with the losing side during the War of Defiance. I'll go meet him then. The Chancellor will await you in the records room of the Jujil Palace in the first fires. Do I- I don't want you to- oh, okay. I don't want to leave yet. I do want to take a 
Cypher, and that's gonna suck because I really like Palagina. But I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna be taking a chance. Like, as much as I like having three melees, which is actually really good. I really, really want a cipher. Chanters are awesome. I'm hands down not taking a chanter. Maybe we could get rid of Adir or not Adir. Um, Durance. I should wrestle him here. I'm like. I'm really hurt for some reason as well. <sighs> Alright, who do I take? There's also a Barbarian added who I'm definitely, definitely going to be getting and adding to the group. I've been wanting a Barbarian for a while and I did want to create a custom one because then you lose out on cool role-playing stuff. So I kind of wanted the game version of the Barbarian. The PC NPC. I like my little floating skull. That thing is awesome. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of Palagina. Have you heard what happened? I've nope. seen better assassins. Oh damn it! But he wasn't bad. Have I you? I went through hmm. his belongings, and I'm certain he was acting on behalf of the Leaden Key. What are you talking? It's been like ages since that happened. The ambassador. Okay, so the she's babbling on about stuff. Not important. Who do I want? Oh, this is such a tough call. Also, my screen's really, really dark. I should probably turn up the brightness a teensy bit. I know you guys can see the darkness because my monitor obviously isn't in your grasp, but if I go take a rest and then while I take a rest, quickly do my monitor thing and turn it on to standard mode. And then I hit the S button. Nope, that's not right. There, now I can see a lot better. Although it now looks weird. I'll have to figure out or figure that out later. Let's get some Athletics and Constitution, that sounds good. As you sleep, you are buoyed and buffeted by the vagaries of dreams. They tumble and thrash about you and fill your mind's eye with pale glittering molts. They resolve into light snowfall and a biting northerly wind. You recognize the mountains of the White March rising around you, and you shiver. You see Stalwart a few miles away, quiet and still, but for a few curling streams of smoke rising from the chimneys. Durgan's battery is perched above it, its shadow stretching into the valley. Above it all, you hear a deep, slow rhythm. At first it sounds like distant drumming, but then it grows louder, cracking through the dry air and booming from the mountain peaks. It builds until you feel it reverberating beneath your feet. I'm gonna go to Durgan's battery. You head towards the fortress, but soon the shaking ground halts your progress. Each thud comes louder and faster than the next. Thunder echoes from the mountaintop as great sheets of ice and snow tumble down the slopes. But the rhythm keeps building, shattering frozen lakes like crystal saucers. New ravines split through the mountains as old chasms fill with snow and scree. A rock slide buries Stalwart and Durgan's battery is shaken into rubble. Shadows rise over the mountains, the vanguard of a massive army. You flee. You tumble from the foothills and bound across the deerwood feeling the rumble of the advancing army all the while. I'm going to barricade myself in Cad Noir. Cad Noir rises from the forest, its mended walls reaching out to you like a pair of strong arms. You barricade yourself within the Great Hall, as the pounding grows closer still. It rattles the foundations of the Great Keep, and as the masonry begins shaking loose, you hear an unholy battle cry coming from the courtyard. The ceiling collapses and sends a cascade of bricks and beams onto your head. You struggle to wakefulness, kicking it at the bedding knotted around your legs. As you shake free of the last bonds of sleep, you hear a voice whisper, something in a language you've never heard, and you see an image of a hundred shifting staring eyes. You awaken feverishly and covered in sweat. Pretty good experience. Well, that was uh, that was quite the dream. Well, I can see a little bit better. The brightness is a bit weird now. I need to uh, figure it out later. I'll fiddle around with my graphic settings after this video. Actually, it kind of looks really good now. Never mind. I am good where it is. It looks nice. Maybe a teensy bit too much contrast, but that's okay. Or too little contrast. Hmm. Figure it out. Now, Cypher. Right. Um, so we have Palagina. If I get rid of her, I definitely have a lot of range. What so I'd have it? one tank, hey. two tanks. Very important to keep your tanks. What? We have... um. Endurance. Why do I keep forgetting his name now? Following your lead. We also have Kana, who should be using his bow. I'm ready. Hi. What? We could get rid of a priest. 
But that would you be silly. Priests are so good. <laughs> I'm ready. I think Pelagina is the only choice. Chanters are super, super good. How may I help? He's also a ranged oh, DPS, ranged DPS, healer, two melee DPS. I wonder if Cyphers can go into melee. We could build her as a melee Cypher, I guess. What are you wearing? I'm going to take off your loot. You know what? Uh, where's the stash button? Maybe I can... Oh, right. It's bound to her. Oh. Well, shit. All right. Um, Maybe Durance. Durance is pretty good. Would I die without a healer? Probably. Would I die without a mage? No, not necessarily. Cyphers are pretty good mages too. Chanters are really good. I'm not going to get rid of my chanter. That's for sure. You know what? I'll try and give up a loth for a bit. If we find out that things are going poorly with the Loth gone, then we'll swap it back up, but... Realistically, you could probably do without a Loth for a teensy well. bit of the time, I hope. There's a party screen, isn't there? No, that doesn't help. Uh, that one? That one. All right, let's get rid of a loth. Let's get grieving. Oh, grieving mother's only level nine. Okay, that's just a bad idea. Indeed. You know what? Fine, we'll keep a loth. Well. I mean, the side blades were cool, but I guess it's not super good. But we will be getting rid of um somebody in the group, probably a loth, for the barbarian once we get him, or Palagina because. At that point, we will have too many melee. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And Edir is too good of a tank to not bring along, so... Where was I supposed to... Oh, right, supposed to go to... Where, exactly? Uh... What? what is it? Group up, guys. We gotta check our journal. Hollowing the deer wood. No, that's not the right one. White March. Forgotten Army. That's not the one, either. We've done that, all that stuff. What was it called? The one that got away? No. Grass dress? Nope. 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 No. 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 Maybe it's this one. Called to court. There we go. Go to Defiance Bay, the Chill Palace in the first fires. Okay. Oh, there's a bounty we haven't done. We just have to return to Tealdor. Apparently, someone is playing. Is Tildor here? I think Tildor is in his bounty hunting cage. We'll go do that really quickly, head in that quest, and then we will head off to Defiance Bay to match these charges. Outrageous I secured Kadnua against a particularly savage dragon. And I'm not going to give it up without a fight. How much experience do we need to level? Uh, a lot. Let's just go with a lot. It's a long walk. We're almost there. We're getting close. So there is apparently a monstrous army descending upon the lands. It's never a good sign. We'll handle it though. We've handled everything thus far except for one dragon. We didn't actually go fight. I should have done that a long time ago, but we will be doing it in this let's play. We will go kill the alpine dragon. I never got around to it last time and I really, really should have. Well met, friend. Oh, you're Warden Fiergen. Oh, there's new people. There's uh, Darth Darth Grimalt, the vampire. A priest of the Crucible Knights are after. There's a bounty here for the Green Death, and the last one's from Glen Fathens at Ibril's Well. They're after a looter. Tell me about 
Dareth, he's a rabble rouser, a visionary. The thing is, they tried killing him before. It didn't stick. Now this vampire set up some kind of cult in the catacombs beneath the Copper Lane District in Defiance Bay. The Dutral Palace wants him removed permanently. Okay, what about this priest? Thorfinn, the high priest of the Scattered God, has been desecrating grave sites all over Deerwood. No idea what he's looking for, but he and his men killed a squad of crucible knights sent to stop them, and now they want his head. The last setting was in the Eastern Wood. And what about the Green Death? Some alchemist in Mercyvale wants the head of Glasdiel the Troll, also known as the Green Death. The fellow didn't say why he wanted it, only that he's willing to pay very well. That suits you. I suggest you look for Glasdiel in Liaremen. And who are the Glen Fathens asked for? Songsmik Roska, a Norwegian chanter. She and her associates have been looting Anguithan ruins, and the Glen Fathens at Ibril's Well want her to pay for her crimes. And they'll pay us to see it done. Roska has a camp outside Kleban Rilag. Schleabang, I don't remember how to pronounce it. Schleabang Rilag? Something like that. Well then, we are starting off on our adventure. We got numerous new targets to kill for some sweet, sweet experience. And we have to go match some charges in Defiance Bay. And we will get all of this done within the next few videos, probably. I don't know how powerful these guys are actually. They could be very powerful, for all I know. What is the quest log button? Is it L? No. J. J. It's J. Alright. Who's Tildor? Oh, Stalwart. Tildor's in Stalwart. Let's go deal with him quickly. We might as well get our just rewards. Uh, why can't I get up there? Oh, there it is. Why is it way over there? Stalwart, yes. 24 hour. Oh. Your party is considered high level for the content of the White March Part 2. If you would like, the critical path can be increased in difficulty to give you more of a challenge. The rewards you receive will be the same regardless of the option you choose. It cannot be changed once it's been selected. High level. Give me a break. We ain't gonna stop because they told us it's more dangerous. Although, the last time I selected that, I got pounded into the ground at the siege camp. Oh, it was bad. I remember, like, basic monks just pushing my poop in. It was really bad. Oh. While we wait, the enemy grows stronger. And you'd send more of us to die. Well, I'm not going to stand around. Are you? You've done plenty, Darian. Yeah. Darian. You approach the source of the commotion and see a throng of villagers. They're arguing amongst themselves and hurling questions and demands at a lone figure perched above them. A young man stands on a spur of rock, his clenched fist held aloft. Seam rises from his wild hair and flesh face as he shouts to the gathering. Been a week since our people left these gates. A week since the iron flail took him. He paces the outcropping, his eyes burning. You see a few scattered nods in the crowd. Yet we wait here behind our sturdy new walls, hiding in our rebuilt homes. We've done nothing. He brings his fist to his palm with a sharp smack. The crowd erupts, bristling with pointed fingers and pointed words. One woman steps forward, her eyes locked on the young man. Who are you to tell us how to defend our own? You ain't been here two months! He's been there longer than me. I've, like, I've only been gone two days, guys. How much has happened in the last two days? Several of the others grunt and hoot. You feel a shift in the crowd like a changing tide. Hey, an angry mob. See? We're not so far from home. And since I got here, I've been working alongside the rest of you. Don't start with that again. A handful of others nod with him, but they cringe and flinch as another villager joins the fray, shaking his finger at the young orator. Well, it was your idea to send our people to that damned fort in the first place. If it weren't for you and the other leeches that come up with you, we wouldn't be in this mess. The new accuser raises a chorus of furious cries. Darian raises his hands for calm, but the crowd's wrath is snowballing. I'm gonna yell, stop everybody! A dozen heads turn in your direction. The villagers recognize you, and their eyes widen with hope and reverence. Enough shouting. I want someone to calmly explain what is going on. Darian nods. It's a small army from Rayad Saris. They call themselves the Iron Flail. At Darian's mention of the name, the rest of the crowd falls silent. The words trigger a sudden flashback to your dream of the mysterious army and the destruction of Cad Noir. As the image fades, you 
See once more a vision of a hundred eyes watching you and something just beyond. He showed up a few weeks after you opened the battery. Demanded we give him the White Forge. He avoids your gaze, scraping his boot against a rock. They're led by a Darik Sendemir. Comes from an old Rayad Saren family. The rumor has it the man's half mad with visions. Claims one drove him here to take the White Forge. Convenient since I just helped him open it. They're not the only blood suckers around here. The villager glares up at Darien, but most of his fellows are ignoring him by now. Darien raises his voice above the ruckus. Our crew at the battery locked their doors and told the Iron Flail to go back to Rayad Saris. Instead, they built a fort in the middle of the wood. So we sent a committee to reason with them. That was a week ago. We haven't seen our people since. A low rumble ripples through the crowd. Darien hesitates. I can only mean one thing. He grimaces as the frightened, arguing crowd drowns him out once more. He's right, you have to defend what's yours. We're just miners and fisher folk. Panic surges from the crowd. Send Darian and the rest of the newcomers. Let them earn their keep. We've cleared your roads and repaired this town. What more do we have to prove? Cries of agreement and protest boil up from the crowd. Please, everyone. In the fragile silence that follows, the others turn and look up at Darian. Whatever our difference is, we've got to deal with the army at our gates. He looks back to me. Of course they do. Everyone looks to me to fix all their frigging problems. You've done a lot for Stalwart already. Many of us wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. And yet you won't even voice act my name. It's Eltamar, by the way. He breaks off looking as if he'd like to stuff his words back into his mouth. After an uneasy pause, he swallows and continues. What I mean is, if anyone could deal with an army, it's you. But, uh, huh. Just show me where the, the fort Iron is. The Iron cleared a patch of forest north of Durgan's battery. Built their fort there. He says while nodding. It'll be well guarded, so if you can get in without raising an alarm, you may have an easier time of it. I will kill everybody in my way. The important thing is to deal with the commander. If you can get rid of him, the rest of the soldiers will scatter. I think I dreamed about this army. What exactly did you see? He watches you with wide, wondering eyes. A murmur ripples through the crowd. I'm going to uh, lie to this one. You came together and defended yourselves. The villagers whisper, looking at one another with the first stirrings of hope. The young man sighs a long plume of breath. And let's hope there's some truth to dreams after all. Let's hope not, because your town gets wiped out, like just straight up destroyed. Anyway, we've got our work cut out for us here. He gives the crowd a purposeful look, grumbling. They start to disperse. While you're out, stop by the battery. Wangra and her team are still repairing the heavy cannons. But they've made a lot of progress elsewhere. You know what would be great against an army? Heavy cannons. I thought you might like to see how far it's come. Uh, I didn't actually want to come up here to start with. I just wanted to turn in a quest, but, uh, yeah, let's see. I haven't been see. here long, but, uh, I'll tell you what I can. What brought you to Stalwart? Work. I was a cobbler in New Yarma, but the city got more crowded every year. Rural types fleeing the legacy. A couple months ago, I heard Stalwart was offering land and opportunity to new settlers, so I figured I'd give it a go out here. That hasn't worked so well in other places. For a while, folks seemed glad to have some new blood. That changed as more and more of us came. Seems to be a little tension. <laughs> Before you opened Durgan's battery, people tell me Stalwart barely had enough warm bodies to keep the town running. He says, laughing humorlessly. A bunch of us came when we heard about the White Forge. But now, uh, I think the old-timers would just as soon send us back. He begins ticking items off on his fingers. We take the best jobs. We don't pay our respects to Andra. We're overcrowding the town. He says while shaking his head. I get it. Stalwart's changing. Same thing happened in New Yarma when folk moved in from the countryside. But they can't keep blaming us for everything that goes wrong out here. He sighs, and a steaming cloud escapes his lips. I'm just hoping they'll calm down once the Iron Flail is gone. Okay, that's all I needed. Everyone, just go home. I'm gonna go find this person to turn my quest into. He's probably at the Gruff's Rest, probably. Maybe. Or possibly at... Thiersk. I think it was Thiersk, wasn't it? Tealdor. No, no, it wasn't Thiersk. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, Tealdor's right there. Durr. Uh, Mestla of the Sisterhood of the Slay Skull is dead. Ooh, nice experience. Wow. He grins. Kind of ironic, isn't it? She went around killing people for Barath, and in the end, that's what... Oh, never mind. Just take the bouncy. Bounty. He passes you a bag that rattles with coin. New bounties, you say? Tell me more of the Disciples of the True Flame. He scratches the back of his neck. I don't know what to make of this one, but the word is it's a group of dragon cultists. He holds up his hands. 
I know it sounds bizarre. I didn't believe it myself until I heard they torched an outpost north of Maiden Falls for clearing a nest of worms, they said. Last I heard, they made a camp near Longwatch Falls. It shouldn't be too hard to spot. What's the old Dunrin hunting lodge? He shakes his head. Adherence with too much time and money. They travel around hunting monsters for sport, but they leave a mess of wrecked property and dead property and dead bodies. Kith, I mean, in their wake. They've been charged with murder and general mischief in Defiance Bay, New Hammer, and a dozen other towns between. Someone saw them hunting in the Russet Wood, so you might look for them there. Well, let's talk about something else. Right, I forgot. There's a thermal a thermal pearl we were supposed to get, and it just it screwed up my quest because I took it too early or later, something like that, and now it's gone forever. We'll never ever finish that quest either. It's a little bit disappointing. There's a couple quests like that that I have that are just unattainable. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Restart what? Hang on. All right. Now, what were we doing? First fires. All right, I have to see what's going on with this person. One second, guys. Actually, we're out of time on this video. I'm going to end the video here. We're at 31 minutes. So, like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to be doing some more sweet, sweet Pillars of Eternity action. And hopefully, we can kill things, because apparently, someone, one of my friends is getting evaporated by the new monsters. So, let's, uh, we'll see what happens. Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next video.